Alright, hello everybody. It is Friday, and that means it's time for some more Darkest Dungeon hijinks? Awesomeness? I don't know. So if you had wow, all level zero. This is kinda garbage. <laughs> we don't have I mean like if I scroll all the way down, we've got five twos and one zero. And that zero is not gonna make it anywhere. Like I don't know how I'm going to level that person up without having more people down at the lower levels. It's just not going to happen. It's very strange. Very strange. But anyway, everything seems to be working. Uh, I, I rearranged my desk. A stupid personal note here, but... Uh, I have, a, like, an L-shaped desk, and up until today, up until today, I had one monitor on one side of the L and the other monitor on the other side of the L, and so every time I wanted to check the chat, it's like literally turned my head 90 degrees. Uh, so I don't have to do that anymore. But everything's a little everything's a little different now. And like my muscle memory is a little off. And I had to change keyboards because things moved around. But anyway, why don't we get started? So last episode I said maybe we should try a, uh, a farmstead run in the next uh, in the next go forth. And that seems like a, a potentially good idea. So let's do it. Let's get set up here. The Fool's Congregation. We don't have a lot of cash. <clears throat> but I guess if we really need to, we can sell... sell some stuff. That's really good. Though, we do lose a lot of max HP for it. We're gonna need to be able to buy some food and stuff, so I better not... I better not, uh, just, you know, laugh it off. Is everybody equipped? Yes. Extra accuracy for the leper, because he needs it. Uh, stress reduction. Death blow resistance here for the crusader. Extra hit points. Let's see. Stress reduction. Accuracy and dodge. One speed is not really that much of a... I wonder if we can do something better than that. Uh, let's sort by character class restriction. So I'll just find them the rarest stuff that are... Oof, that's a, too much of a dump on uh, max HP. 15% is a big deal for a long, a, an effectively long mission like this. Where, like, one enemy can just crit and, and she goes down. Or at least goes into Death's Door. What could we do that would be better? I have no clue. No clue at all. Um, come on, there's got to be something here that I can use. We don't want to reduce her dodge too much. If the sun cloak didn't increase stress, I'd say go for that. Come on, show me something good. There's got to be something good here. That reduces death blow resistance, which I'm not sure I want that either. I guess we could Chirurgeon's Charm? Something like that? This team seems fairly reasonable. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, another funny, another funny little personal note. One thing that I did when I moved my desk around is I hooked up my Linux box over here, and it turns out that the Linux box, the, the, the um, power supply on it, has like a fan that's running that always runs when it's on. Like always, even when the computer is off. And so like, I, was, I thought that my main computer, the one that I'm playing this on, had uh, was making a lot of noise, but in fact, uh, it was that tiny, crappy fan on that Linux box. 
so I unplugged it. <laughs> it's louder. It's louder than my than my rather expensive computer, which I guess makes sense because you know I didn't spend money on it. But anyway, this should be a fairly good. Oh, dang it! Uh, I don't need that either. Okay, we're in good shape. We're ready to go. Let's get this started. This might be the whole episode. Don't know for sure. Um, basically, if we actually make it out to the end, the this might take a whole hour and a half. Right, the victim. The seasons took his livelihood. I took his land. And now, uncountable years later, the comet has taken his humanity. My only regret is that I did not live to see that shoddy mill smashed to pieces by the miraculous bounty I reaped from beyond the void. We've taken out the miller a few times at this point. Last time we made it all the way to the Seeker. Here we go. Sense. You guys are shard mercenaries. You're used to this place. That rear really strike is pretty good, actually. Bleed, stun, and pretty decent damage. Ugh, towel, what the heck. Pretty bad first turn. Really bad first turn. Er, I mean, this is the second turn. But they're hitting us pretty hard. More bleed. Great done. is the weapon that cuts on its own. tips, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess the question would be, what are you struggling at right now? I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty complex game. There's a lot of different... the turning point. You're only at the beginning. What can I say to a beginning player? Don't worry about retreating. Um, and don't worry about losing people, necessarily. It's gonna happen, there's nothing you can do about that. Um... Be and you can always get new people, especially when they're low level. Um... Man. Take shorter missions first, and always make sure to leave a little bit of extra cash in your, uh, coffers. So that if you need to run, you can start the next mission with a little bit of equipment. Um... Make sure that you don't pick too many characters of the same class. Um, right now, I I have uh, like a, I have a limit of like 29 people in my group, and that gives me enough room. I can't even have two of each class, so there's a lot. But uh, take it slow and uh, enjoy it. It's the kind of game that doesn't that doesn't corner you. So... So, this is the farmstead. It's one of the DLCs. And it's basically the... the, uh, the infinite... infinite rush. Now we're gonna wanna slice off carefully. Um, for, nope, we're gonna wanna hew them. 
continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Sedated. Oh, you know what? One thing that I will say that is that, that I didn't know when I first started playing this game, debuffs and damage over time attacks stack. A lot of games that's not the case, but they stack in this game. And so you can definitely do some stuff with them in this game that you can't do in other games. That's that's one important thing that you might not have known. other stuff on, like, uh, other days. Back to the pit. So I usually stream on, uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at about this time. Another one falls. Decisive bubbling. Oh, that's 
That's a huge mistake. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. At last, some sheltered corner of reality. Yeesh. <sighs> so, he got down to zero hit points, which doesn't kill, kill people immediately, but every hit gives a chance. And after that, even if you heal him back up, he has some negative effects for the rest of the quest. That's a pain. I should not have let that happen. Damage per turn, jeez. So here's a little trick. This scarecrow is stealthed. He can't be hit by attacks that target only this slot, but if you have, a, if you have an attack that targets that slot plus another slot, then you can hit him. Well struck. Target him. with impunity. alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade.
needed. A momentary abatement. of skill and purpose. Executed. A dizzying blow to body and brain. He loves to mess with our, uh, with our formation. size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Advantageous time because even though it's stealthy, we can still hit it. We hit multiple squares with that one. Here comes Trample. It's gonna mess up our formation again. Okay. Uh, nope, we can get it close. Doing it again. 
in which we are attacked by an endless supply of demon horses. The bigger the beast. Okay, that one's down. The greater the glory. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Cover, but be quick. Okay, fix our party order and on we go. Haunting. Lost in time and space. Interesting. Enemies have increased increased dodge and increased blight skill chance. guys attacks much stronger. And of course we can't hit them now. Mortality oh, clarified in a single strike. How quickly the tide turns. Strike. side. Attempt. We beat the Miller and we made it all the way to the um, to the Seeker, I think is what it's called. But this is not looking particularly good. On the plus side, these characters, shard mercenaries, all, all four of my characters are shard mercenaries. And they technically can't die permanently. They just vanish for a week or two. Oof, that would have been the mark. Exposed to a killing blow.
to abandon this run. If we... If we just get too far gone, we're not gonna make it the secret, probably. No, he's still got a couple of... Get rid of that guy. Plus a hit on a disease. What does tetanus do? Yeah, accuracy and crit. sure that normal characters do die here for real. I think it's just the shard mercenaries that do this, but I could be wrong. At this point, it would make more sense to just check the wiki that, rather than actually waste some characters. Consumes the mind. I mean, my policy in this game is to not get too, not get too worried about losing a character here and there. But I try not to throw anybody at something that's hopeless. And abominations are a really good class. Cursed champion falls. We can't hit the ghoul. But he can hit us. Oh, he can hit us. Should I move her up? No, we need the healing more than. I wish Illumination would hit from the rear back row. There we go! Blow. Now we're talking. One more like that. Please hit. Thank you. Oh no, there's still a corpse. Uh... I don't know how we're gonna hit these two. Corpse has 29 hit points. We can't get past it. The Arr! wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. They're gonna explode at us. This early in, too. He should be done. 
approaches. He's about to be tested. Jeez. Death waits. For the That's a test. Laps in concentration. <laughs> oh, my favorite class so far. I really like the Plague Doctors, and I really like the, um, the Grave Robbers. They're both really useful in a lot of different places. ourselves up once again. Yeah, we were not gonna manage to take out the miller and disease all over the place. Look at that. Grey rot, red foot plague, here he has tetanus. That was a rough one. I made some big mistakes. An eternity of futile struggle or penance for my unspeakable transgressions. It also doesn't count as a weak. It's not clear to me where all that gold came from. <sighs> Medical ward's already full. All right. Fine. Maybe we can get some of our twos up. Because we still have a bunch of them. Can I put together a good party here? Zero? Well, we'll try it. We still need a person in the rear. Oh, our blessed is not a bad idea. Now these people are all well, way too bad, way too well equipped for. Uh... Let's see, we're going to the cove, so we don't even have to worry about beasts. We're all gonna be eldritch, so we'll get rid of that. Um, I'm gonna take that off. Oh, I mean, the f I failed it horribly the first time too. But yeah, what happened?
These salt-soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Okay, we start this one with a fairly good scout. But wow, that's a lot of battles. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. See, they're giving us extra goodies. My night. <laughs> A seized blight and stress. Good lord. Disease too. A singular strike. Okay, give me a second here. Leper, Abomination, Play Dr. Vestal. That's a good party. The shuffle puts the Abomination back in the fourth. Oh, that sucks. And Leper in third. Yeah, yep. <laughs> the Play Doctor only has the long range attacks. The Vestal can't heal anything in the front. Oh, man. And you forget the trinkets. Oh. I do that all the time. Forget trinkets on people. Like, like have them wrong or have them off or have them on when they should be off. It's a pain. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Yeah, I mean, you can retreat. Here's the thing about here's the thing about the the uh, the darkest dungeon is that you can retreat. You just lose one person. 
So if things are that bad, and you still have four abominations, well, that's good because you know they're 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 good they're a good character. I probably would have run at that point. I was just like, we're gonna lose one person, but it's better than losing everybody. But who knows? She dodges the formal strike. That's such a bizarre move. Another one falls. Clarified in a single strike. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and that purpose is made clear. There, finally. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Sanguine snuff. No one's crimson cursed, but we can at least put it away in inventory so we don't waste it. Um, I'd rather have comet shards than... Yeah, there's, there, I mean, you can't, or, well, you can, but it is very difficult to set up the perfect party that can really deal with formation damage, for formation messing up attacks. They're just tough to deal with, in general. Those lessons you learn the hard way. That's just how it goes. The 
way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I've done that before, not have the right characters in the in the roster. It can be quite a pain. That's alright. There's something fun about building up new characters in this game anyway. as the enemy crumbles. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Do we want to bust a shovel on this thing? It's a really bad idea, especially since we have a full inventory. Yeah, having a good varied party, or a good varied roster is, is, is good for you, so... Definitely the better way to do it is to have... ...a good variety. Is terrible at dealing with traps. Uh, you. <laughs> Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. That sucks. In radiance, may we find victory. I mean, I'm always rotating new characters in because I do have some casualties here and there. Jeez. More stress. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. The wounds of war can be healed. Never hidden. Yes. Obliterated.
remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I can't remember. Oh, it's a good thing. Extra damage on the wrong character. I mean, just put them up front and use their healing whenever you get the opportunity. Don't don't use them in the cove because the enemies are too strong the against light, the bleed. The promise of safety. Don't use them against bosses that can't be bled either. Yeah. Two drown thralls. Oh, this sucks. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I don't. No thanks. Now I hope we get some scouting done, because otherwise we're going to have to literally walk around every one of these rooms. Match is struck. A blazing star is born. Okay, flagellant plus mercenary. That's an interesting combo. I don't use mercenaries enough. They're good, I just don't remember to use them. Well, that thrall in the back is going to be a problem. I didn't even see him until just now. No. You've got to be kidding me. That 
thrall's gonna that thrall's gonna get us. It's gonna be bad. No wait. Yes. <laughs> A move I think I've never used before. Oh, I th thought you meant bounty hunter. Yeah, I think I think I think you might mean bounty hunter. At least that's what I when you said mercenary. That's what I thought. So. A momentary abatement. I mean, we might both be wrong. <laughs> Push on to the task's end. A flagellant who also is a shard mercenary. Yeah, I mean, the problem with... Now, a lot of enemies in the farms that can be... No, we're not going to use this yet. We, we have a full inventory. No, we're not going to pick that up either. There's a little bit of a luck. There's a little bit of luck involved, but but it's not bad. I mean, you know, a trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. spring to life with a singular purpose.
momentary abatement. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. I mean, the sound the sound is really good in this game. I mean, there's um all the all the like sound effects are, are really like chunky and, and they, they, they feel really like there. Then there's the narrator, and the narrator is just excellent. I mean, it's, it's one of those These games where creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. It's one of those games where you could get away with having really shoddy sound designs, but they didn't. They didn't skimp on it. Almost. Dang. And the soundtrack is fantastic, especially the way that the music is like dynamic. Precipitates a dizzying fall. I haven't used up any camp stuff yet. Probably should. They gave me two of them. This expedition at least promises success.
torch burner. I, uh, really? Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Okay, we're not using one of those firewoods for sure. Ancient traps lie in wait, unsprung and thirsting for blood. The fight? No, finally an empty one. All right. We can let things get a little bit dark so that we get more of an advantage from using the firewood. In fact, just for the heck of it, further. So we're now in shadow. And they keep getting things... Well, you'll notice that the music gets a little different here. And the battle music, I think, will be different, too. Ooh, they surprised us! Thanks for the follow, guys. Both of you, Dragos, NA, and Seafish Roll. Sorry I didn't notice until just now, Dragos. Oof, that's a big hit. God! Yeah, monster crits. A lot more monster crits. Music design, but they they went the extra nine yards. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Now. Oh wow. We have a lot of good stuff here. I don't know if we still have any of the 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 terrifying dreams of the shield breaker. I don't know if we still have those. But in case we don't, we'll do that, we'll do that, we have three points left. Perfect. Snake eyes. Now, 
there might be a dream here. Let's see. I kind of hope not. Because those dreams are tough. No, nothing. Okay, I'll take it. But there's still at least one more fight for us. is the trap maker's art his efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes we can clear it like that here's the fight Fully executed. I guess we're finishing up strong. The blood pumps, the limbs obey. There's still one more room fight. Our inventory is still annoyingly full, and we don't know what we're gonna need in this hallway. So we're gonna we're gonna have to do a little post game, so to speak, once we clear this last room. See, see, if I had thrown away my shovels. Another mariner. Another misfortune. The hungriest dang party ever. We'll keep walking, we'll keep walking. Move 
of stone. We can pop that in someone's inventory. We don't care about the deeds. Okay, we're gonna continue adventuring because we've got a bunch of like keys to use up. Stuff like that. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. We're definitely gonna fill out our inventory. Or at least I think we are. We got enough food for two more hungry moments. And we have three keys. Down to two now. We'll see. I get those. I mean, I, I know why I get those, because I'm streaming, but it is a little bit irritating. <laughs> a fortune waiting to be spent. I mean, I guess. We've got a bunch more treasure to go for. Of course, they're spawning new fights for us. Use up our last uh, shovel, too. Nah, we won't bother with that. Here's one of these shovel. giving me heirlooms, even though I don't really want them. You know what we'll do? It's a box full of heirlooms that I can't. But there's one more treasure. Dang it. We're a very hungry party. Okay, this is it.
Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Yes, so I I played through a good chunk of the game, like on my own, without the Crimson Court, but I didn't f quite finish the game. And then I started this playthrough with the Crimson Court, and it has been a very interesting experience. Very hard. It does make the game a lot more complicated, so. Uh, really? Garbage? They just give me garbage? Fine. What will I say about Crimson Court? It is... It adds another level of resource management to the game. And... I fought the Baron. It has three bosses, like a lot of places do. Um, and the Baron is... There's, there's three bosses, and one of them is really hard. And then the second one that I also beat is not that hard, but maybe I just got lucky? And then I bet the third one's really tough. Anyway. What's that? At last, wholesome marine life can flourish. If indeed there is such a thing. <laughs> I love those quotes. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So that brings, yeah, that brings our level 2 people all the way up to level 3 with plus some. And Linum now has a, a 1 as well, but we do have some diseases happening and the runs. Ironically, the runs makes it harder to dodge. The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. Yeah, oh, it's the sleeper, not the, not the, not the seeker. That's my mistake. Maybe the countess. Okay. Well, I think we'll call it here for tonight. Uh, this has been good. We got some of our level two people up to three. And we have... We have a, actually, we can do something with this. Maybe. If we just choose a really long mission. We can get another bounty hunter, maybe? Yeah, let's get another bounty hunter. The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. Yeah, I've been... I mean, this is... I think this is going to be like my... Goodness, my like... Uh, 202. Like my almost my 60th episode. I've been playing it weekly for a, a little over a year now in real time. Um, I mean, I haven't been playing to like play it very fast. So like there's a there's a hard as you know, there's a hard mode setting. And apparently time is limited, but they don't say how limited your time is. I don't know. Anyway, we'll call it here. I'll do a little upkeep, but uh you know, it's not super interesting for the stream, so I'll just do that after we cut here. But, uh, yeah, we'll be doing some more of this a uh, week from today. Um, we're getting close to the end. Um, so probably another month of this. You know, four weeks, five weeks. Let's see, what else have we got going on? On Monday, we'll be playing the um, the Cthulhu Mythos RPG. It's like an 8-bit um, like horror RPG. Like JRPG. Oh, the time limit's 100? I didn't see that when I looked at the hard mode. Oh my god, that's impossible. I mean, it's impossible for me. I don't know. That's crazy. Uh, I mean, man, you'd want to turn off all the DLC. Because, like... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Wednesday, we're doing Grimrock. Legend of Grimrock, which is a fun, action-y dungeon crawler. And then, um... <clears throat> over on YouTube... I'm not streaming them, but over on YouTube I've got a... ongoing no-commentary... Um, uh, play through the Final Fantasy X on original PS2 hardware and uh, Labyrinth of Toho, which has been both fun and frustrating. So, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for listening. Um, if any of that sounds good, feel free to take a look. Uh, otherwise, I hope to see you again. And, yeah. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. See y'all later. Yeah, have a good night uh, and a good weekend too. See you later, Seafish Roll. 
and uh, and Dragos too. See y'all later.